Hi guys, this is Miss Gutelis. Um, I wanted to read you a really cool book um, that I got from my school library and it's called The Sweetest Fig. And I wanted to read it because Last week, I went to the dentist. I had an abscess tooth, which means um, there's a lot of infection in there. And I had to go to the dentist. And I feel so much better now that my dentist worked on my tooth. So um, I got this wonderful book right here. And actually, the principal at my school brought it to me and thought I would enjoy it. And I loved it. So I'm going to read it to you because... Um, I believe that uh, we should all share books that we love with each other. And I love being read to. So I'm sure you love being read to as well. So here we go. You guys ready? So The Sweetest Fig. The Sweetest Fig by Chris Van Allsburg. All right. Let me make sure you see the artwork. Um, Monsieur Bibot, the dentist, was a very fussy man. He kept his small apartment as neat and clean as his office. If his dog, Marcel, jumped on the furniture, Bibot was sure to teach him a lesson. Except on Bastille Day, the poor animal was not even allowed to bark. Hmm. Sounds like he was a very strict dog owner. Mm. You might be wondering what Bastille Day is. Bastille Day is an important day in France. It's a national holiday and it's the anniversary of a storming of the Bastille on the 14th of July of 1789. And this event ushered in the French Revolution. Oh, goodness. One morning, Bibo met an old woman waiting at his office door. He had a toothache. Sorry, she had a toothache and begged the dentist for help. But you have no appointment, he told her. The woman moaned. Mm. Bibo looked at his watch. Perhaps there was time to make a few extra francs. Francs is kind of like dollars in France. Um, he took her inside and looked in her mouth. This tooth must come out, he said with a smile. When he was done, the dentist said, I will give you some pills to kill the pain. Um, I don't know. This picture right here makes me really nervous. I don't know. I hope my doctor doesn't put his hand across my eye like that. I'm not liking this guy very much. The old woman was very grateful. I can't pay you in money, but I have something much better. She took two figs from her pocket and handed them to Bibo. In case you don't know, figs are fruit, and this is what they look like. Figs, he said angrily. These figs are very special, the woman whispered. They can make your dreams come true. She winked at him and put her fingers on her lips. It was clear to Bibo that the woman was crazy. He set the figs down and took her by the arm. When she reminded him about the pills, he said, I'm sorry, only for paying customers, and showed her out the door. Oh, no. He just pulled her tooth out and didn't give her any pain pills? What kind of a person is that? Hmm. All right. That evening, Bibo took his little dog to the park. Poor Marcel loved to sniff the tree trunks and bushes, but whenever he stopped, Bibo would pull sharply on the leash. Just before going to bed, the dentist had a small snack. He sat at his dining room table and ate one of the figs the old woman had given him. It was delicious possibly the finest, sweetest fig he'd ever have. He's eating a fig with a fork and a knife. Okay. In the morning, Bibo dragged Marcel down the stairs for his morning walk. The three steps were hard for the short-legged dog, 
But Bibo wouldn't think of carrying his pet. He hated to get Marcel's white hairs on his beautiful blue suit. Hmm, I'm wondering if if um, Bibo actually even likes Marcel. He doesn't even pick him up. Hmm. As he walked along the sidewalk, Bibo could not help noticing people looking at him. They are admiring my suit, he thought. But when we both saw his reflection in the window of a cafe, he stopped in horror. He was dressed only in his underwear. That would be embarrassing. Okay. The dentist turned and ran into an alley. An alley is a space between two buildings. Sacré bleu, he thought. What has happened to my clothes? He then remembered the dream he'd had last night. In his dream, he stood in front of that very cafe, dressed in his underwear. Something else had happened in his dream, and Bibo struggled to recall it. Hmm... He struggled to remember it. Marcel, looking out from the, the shadows of the alley, began to bark. Ruff, ruff, ruff. The dentist looked up and saw the rest of his dream come true. Oh, what is it? I can't wait. No one noticed Bibo as he ran home in his underwear. All the eyes of Paris were fixed. On the Eiffel Tower, which slowly drooped over it, over as if it were made of soft rubber. Look at that. The Eiffel Tower normally stands straight up, and now it's, it's bent down. Here's a picture of the Eiffel Tower. Bibo understood now that the old woman with the figs had told him the truth. He would not waste the second fig. Remember what the old woman said about the fig? What was it that the woman said about the fig? Oh, yeah. She said that the fig was made your dream, made all your dreams come true. Yes, that's what it was. So he had a dream and it made it come true. Uh-oh. And he wasn't going to waste the other one. What do you think he's going to ask for now? What do you think he's going to wish for? Over the next few weeks, as reconstruction of the Eiffel Tower began, why are they reconstructing it? You remember? Yes, because now it's bent over. They have to reconstruct it. They got to fix it. The dentist read dozens of books on hypnotism. Hmm, I wonder why. Each night before he went to bed, he gazed into the mirror and whispered over and over, Bebo is the richest man on earth. Bebo is the richest man on earth. Bebo is the richest man on earth. Hmm. Anybody you think, you, what do you think he's doing that? Hmm? Soon in his dreams, that's exactly what he was. As he slept, the dentist saw himself steering his speedboat, flying his airplane and living in luxury on the Riviera. Night after night, it was the same. Hmm. I see. So he's trying to have a dream that's going to come true. That's what he's trying to do. One evening, Bibo took the second fig from his cupboard. It would not last forever. Tonight, he thought. It is the night. He put the ripe fruit on a dish and set it on his table. When a fruit is ripe, it means it's ready. Tomorrow, he would wake up the richest man in the world. He looked down at Marcel and smiled. The little dog would not be coming along. In his dreams, Bibo had great Danes. You see, I knew it. I knew it. He wasn't really into his dog. Poor little doggy. Hmm. He wanted great Danes. In case you don't know, Great Danes are also dogs, but they're really big dogs. Look them up. As the dentist reached into his cupboard to take out some cheese, he heard the crash. 
of breaking China. And China is just a fancy word for um, the dish. He turned to see Marcel standing on a chair with his front paws on the table, chewing the last of the fig. Oh, <gasps> Marcel ate the fig. What do you think that's going to do? What's what is going to happen now? Uh oh, Bibo was furious. He chased the dog around the apartment. When Marcel ran beneath the bed, Bibo yelled at him. Tomorrow, I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Then the dentist, angry and heartbroken, went to sleep. When he woke up the next morning, Bibo was confused. He was not in his bed. He was beneath it. Who normally sleeps beneath the bed? Hmm. Suddenly, a face appeared in front of him. His own face. Time for your walk, it said. Come to Marcel. A hand reached out and grabbed him. Bibo tried to yell, but all he could do was bark. What do you think happened? Hey, remember who ate the last fig, right? The dog did. So that means the dog's dreams came true. What do you think the dog's dreams were? What do you think his dream was? His dream was, look, when, when, when Marcel woke up, when Bibo woke up, he was no longer a person. He was now the dog. And when the dog woke up, he was now the person. So that's what his dream was. His dream was he wanted to be the dog owner. And now he gets to walk Bebo. Isn't that cool? So they switched. Wow, what a cool story. Wow, that's kind of makes me think you have to remember to always treat people with kindness. And Mr. Bebo did not seem to me like a really kind person, right? Anyway, thank you for letting me read this book to you. And you come to me when you see me and tell me what book you want me to read next. All right. See you guys. Okay, guys, if you had a magic fig that can make all your dreams come true, what dreams would those be?